The Realising Increased Photosynthetic Efficiency, or RIPE project, is actively working to end hunger worldwide by improving the complex process of photosynthesis to increase crop production. By equipping farmers with high yielding crops, we can ensure that everyone has access to enough food to lead a healthy, productive life. As part of these efforts, we opened the state-of-the-art high-throughput phenotyping facility in 2021, which includes an 8,000 square foot greenhouse to help us in accelerating the transfer from our proof of concept work in tobacco into key food crops, such as cassava, cowpea, maize, and soybean. Welcome to the High Throughput Phenotyping Facility for the Wright Project. I'm David Dragg and I help supervise all the plant activities here at the greenhouse. Let me show you around. All right, so uh, these are the main growing benches at the HTP. Everything you see around you, these are all tobacco plants and these are all transformants that were generated at the CTF across the street. Um, these plants are pretty mature at this point, so uh, they're all within flowering, so you can see that they're, they're bagged to prevent cross-pollination between them. Um, these are all plants generated from tissue culture, and um, they will soon be harvested for seed, which will then be screened um, at, with the phenotyping equipment that you'll hear about in a bit. So the plants that we're growing in this area, um, you can see tobacco here, we have soybean as well going on, um, but we, gener we will be generating all the plants that the Wright Project is interested in in this area. Um, this just gives us a lot of really high quality space to house these plants. Uh, the greenhouse is really up to date with uh, technology, the lighting is incredible. The control systems for temperature, humidity, and airflow are you know, top notch, so this really gives us a great space to grow high quality plants. These are all transformants um, with the genes that the project's interested in. The main focus of the project isn't to have great tobacco, but these are model organisms that help us get proof of concept for you know, the, the crops that we are interested in. Um, where the aim of the project is to help, uh, you know, smallholder farmers uh, generate the crops that they're used to growing and some of these crops are uh, things like cowpea, rice, cassava um, and other crops that you know aren't typically grown here in the U.S. So we, we find proof of concept in these plants and then we take the same genes and transform them into the plants of interest. Uh, behind me is the, the phenotyping equipment made by Phenospecs and Brett Pedersen will walk you through that. Hi, I'm Brett Pedersen, and I'm here to show you the uh, phenotype uh, machine that we have here at the High Throughput uh, Phenotyping System. And it really consists of multiple parts. Uh, one of the interesting ones is just our drought spotter system, which controls how much water we can uh, give a plant as it grows. And so we can really tailor make a irrigation plan for the plant and the experiment that's under consideration. The really high-tech kind of exciting part is really the plant eye scanners, which are up here. And what they will do is they will scan uh, each row, and it takes about 50 minutes to do the whole greenhouse, and they create a 3D map, uh, point cloud, of the plants as it rolls over the, the plants. It also collects uh, multi-spectra uh, data so that we can look at plant disease, plant growth, uh, and some other factors uh, to meet the experimenter's needs. So another cool thing about our PhenoSpec system is that this is the largest indoor facility here in the continental United States. So one of the reasons that we have this facility is because we are work step in step with the CTF, that's the Crop Transformation Center. There they do all the genetic ma uh, manipulations on the target crops really hoping to improve the photo efficiencies of the plant. And we go through a couple of seed cycles so that we make sure that we have a homogeneous uh, seed base. Uh, from there, then we can put it on our phenotyping uh, uh, system so that we can really show that what they were, the researchers were hoping for is truly expressed in the plant. That knowledge then goes back to the CTF 
again, so that they can maybe make changes uh, to get a more advantageous outcome of their experiment. We hope you enjoyed the tour of RIPE's new high-throughput phenotyping facility. The cutting-edge phenotyping equipment, combined with the advanced environmental control systems, allow us to accelerate RIPE's mission to increase the productivity of the crops grown by smallholder farmers in Sub-Saharan Africa and elsewhere. Thanks for stopping by. The RIPE project is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the US Foundation for Food and Agricultural Research and the UK Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office.